Hey there everybody, we are going to do a very quick one today on how to use the Axe FX2 or the Axe 8 to change the overall tuning of your guitar, namely to bring it up or down a couple of semitones, nothing too extreme. So let's get straight into it. The first thing I'm going to do is as the first thing in my chain, I'm going to select a pitch block and I'm going to select the advanced whammy. Now what we have here, if we have a look at the controls, very quickly I'm going to set the mix to 100% because we want to change the overall tuning on the guitar. We don't want any of the dry guitar left in there. The pitch track is set to poly. I set the pitch source to local. Uh, to my ears, this just sounds a little bit better and it tracks a little bit better, especially if I've got this as the first thing in the chain. If you don't want the pitch block as the first thing in the chain, set the pitch source to global. Anyway, moving straight on from there, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to leave the start at zero. That's for my natural guitar sound. And the stop, I'm going to just as an example, detune my guitar by one semitone. And then all I have to do is to bypass the pitch block in order to hear the difference. So here's my dry guitar tone. Piece of cake. We can take that down further if we really want to detune it even more. Let's have a listen to that. And the further down you go, the worse the tracking gets, but that's kind of inherent into any device like this. And of course, we can also tune our guitar up. There's like an automatic capo, which is pretty cool. Now, if you get annoyed with that high end thing that starts to work its way and you can play around with a high cut control and bring that down. You can also play around with the low cut to make your low transients a little better. So there we go. There's a really, really brief, basic way to retune your guitar on the fly using the Axe FX2 and the Axe 8. There are some more refined methods you can find if you have a look on the forum, namely using the ADSR controller. But I will leave that up to you guys to explore a little more. Enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Cheers.